We're going under the sea and to the Far East with today's special guest. This is the Michaela Cooking Show. Michaela Moore is known across South Mississippi for her acting, dancing, and singing. Up where they stay all day in the sun. Today, we're wandering through her student apartment in Hattiesburg. This is my kind of ballin' on a budget. And seeing a side of Michaela that is not out on center stage. Up next on Miss Congeniality. Hello and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host, Jamie Doris, and today we're doing something really different. We're starting in the car. And today's special guest is a girl you've probably heard of, but more than likely you don't know very well. She has performed all over South Mississippi. She has performed also in Germany. She is a choreographer. She's a student at USM and she's getting in the car right now, introducing the one, the only, Michaela Moore. Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> Welcome to our squinched car. I love it. Hello everybody. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're here. Welcome to my town. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about Hattiesburg. Do you like it here? I love it. Um, it's a very interesting community. It's a very artsy community, so. Really? Mm -hmm. That's not what people from the Gulf Coast think of Hattiesburg. Yes. No, you're from the Gulf Coast, right? Yes, I'm from Biloxi. Okay, all right. And so when you decided to move up here, I'm guessing it was for school? Yes, the music program at USM is seriously one of the best in the Southeast. So um, I figured if I could get the same education kind of close to home, it's really worth it. And my teacher is phenomenal. So oh, well, I don't have any questions. I normally store questions like right there in my boob. You see my big boobs? You, you see how big these things are? Like It's one of those dresses that just kind of accentuates. It, it, yeah, okay. One of the viewers, uh, Megan Sykes, she's from McHenry. She dressed me today. And I'll tell you what, this dress gives you boobs. I, I know do the you, feeling. How do you know the feeling? I've been in the Miss Mississippi pageant four times. Four? <laughs> four times, yes. Twice I placed in the top ten, so it was very exciting. It was a great experience. So what are you Take doing up here if school's not in session? I am getting ready to go back to school because I have several meetings beforehand because I also work for our opera director and I have to meet with him because we're working on the Mississippi Bicentennial celebration. Opera, opera and musical theater. That's all that I do. <laughs> it's interesting to have the boom mic just. I know, right? right? Hello. <laughs> Don't they touch it? No. No. It's my ears. Oh. Do you sing opera? I do. <gasps> Maybe there is something that you could sing for us. That's opera. Opera? Yeah. No. Oh, no. Maybe. I mean, do you have to warm up? Like, do you have to do like? <laughs> <laughs> just go to your extremes of your range, the... the oh. <laughs> I was out on the microphone. Quando men vo, quando men vo soletta per la via, la gente sosta e mira, e la bellezza mia, tutta rese con me. Wow! Oh my god, dang it, we missed it. Back there. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I can make another loop. Oh my god. Yeah, we we'll just loop around. We got this big parking lot. I didn't realize you had that in you. It's been a process. I didn't really start opera until I got to college. Opera was kind of a new world, and it's accessing a different part of your voice and a different part of your whole mentality of singing that it's different. I have a very high voice and Sometimes I'm like, oh man, I sound too young. I don't sound like these older opera divas. But in opera, you usually don't sound like that until you're like 35, <laughs> truthfully. And I'm 22, I've got some time to go. So 35's old. Oh. <laughs> Not it's funny thing, you're, you're talking about opera and the show is to defy Mississippi stereotypes. Oh yes. And most people don't think of Mississippi and opera in the same like realm. Well, we actually have a big, big opera star from Mississippi. Really? Leontine Price. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> and she's from Mississippi. And actually, Mississippi has a lot of things that people don't realize. Like, Jackson, Mississippi is the only place in America that holds the International Ballet Competition. Nowhere else in America ever holds it. Except Jackson, Always Jackson. Always Jackson, Mississippi. Huh, I wonder why that is. I don't know, I guess we're special. We're so special. Yeah. Oh, we're so special and we're turning 200. 
Oh my God, that was going to be one of my questions is, do you know the year that Mississippi was founded? I can't say that I do off the top of my head. I should. This should have been a pageant question, I feel. But um, Well, we're celebrating our bicentennial. So 200 years ago. Maybe. Maybe. Are you going to be doing something with the bicentennial? Yes. Um, I'm choreographing the backup singers for our whole celebration performance. Oh, fun. And I told everyone that you're a chore choreographer. So. Yes. Can't wait to see more about that when All we get right, to I'm your about house. To get out of the car. You're getting out. No, this one. What? Is it? what? Ah! 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 show called Miss Congeniality okay. and she is cooking Indian food at her house. Oh, I'm what are you cooking? I'm Indian butter chicken. Butter, mm -hmm. that's cool. butter chicken yeah. And we wanted to have some naan to go with it. Yeah. My it's mother's so texting me. Tell her I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know your mom. You know it made me think of while I was listening to you and you said that you know you like to experience other things. It made me think of Ariel and the Little Mermaid. Yeah. I Do you remember that? Were you I born love the yet? Mermaid. Yes. And it's a musical too, so of course I know about it. Look at this stuff. Isn't, Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? The girl who has everything. Look at this trove. Treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around, here you think. Sure. She's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got oozits and what's its galore. You want thingamabobs? I have 20. But, but who cares? No, no big deal. I want more. I, I want to be where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking around on those cornrows. <laughs> Flipping your friends, you, you don't, don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling around on those. Henna tattoos? <laughs> Streets. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. Wandering free. Wish I could be part of her world. Take a lot of <laughs> Woo! Man! Welcome! Uh, this is humongous. Is this, is this yours too? Yes. So. Bougie, what does that mean? It's kind of like slang for bourgeoisie. Bougie. Bougie. So it's bougie like. Bougie. Exactly like that. I'm bougie. Let's get some pictures of bougie. It's like the Vogue kind of thing. Where you have the contemplative look. The... This is the next GQ magazine right here. That's not a good angle. Oh, look, I got my fake boobs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a total college girl's room. Yeah. This is my little desk that I work from and my Miss Mississippi Bear. And then a Doctor Who poster. That's my favorite TV show. Oh, uh, look! Yes. What's this? Huh? Oh, can I put it on? Yes. Well, it might fall off. I have very good posture. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm seeing some sock monkeys. I've got some that are handmade. Yeah, this one, um, this guy's handmade. He's <laughs> actually a literal sock monkey. And then around my bed and everything, um, all the pictures that I have up there are from the different places that I've traveled to. <laughs> now, you spent last summer in Germany. Yes. Doing performing arts. Yes, I studied musical theater there. Um, and I not only had to sing things that were American musical theater, but I learned a little bit about German musical theater as well. And then we went up to Hamburg and got to audition for a casting agent there who actually called me back for the German Phantom of the Opera but I'm still here and not there because I wanted to finish my degrees. <laughs> so but I could have been a German Christine. Just throwing that out there too. <laughs> this is the Michaela cooking show. <laughs> featuring Michaela Moore. 
Cooking is great, but it's also gross at the same time. Now that is looking good. So you have it on low and you got, you're kind of- Turn it up a little bit to yeah. expedite the process a little bit. So it was tomato sauce and what all seasons did you put in it? Um, there's ginger, uh, garam masala, which is practically in every Indian food, um, cumin, cayenne pepper. Can like, I like taste it? Can I put my finger in it? Is it hot? Uh, it shouldn't be too hot right now. Oh God, it's freezing cold. <laughs> you don't mind if I start looking around, do you? Vodka over here. <laughs> this is good stuff. That's the my roommate. Cello. I've never tried it. See, these are not mine. I don't know what these things are. <laughs> what does it smell like? 80 proof. <laughs> I'm hungry. We got our naan. I bet it's still warm. And you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to eat it correctly, like from an in India. It smells like teen spirit. <laughs> now while we're eating, I'm not gonna tell you why they don't eat with their left hand. <laughs> I'm concerned. And why <laughs> you just used your left hand to grab them? <laughs> this is the bad hand? Uh huh. Ooh! Spicy. Mm. This is good! Girl, you done good! What do you ultimately want to be when you grow up? To perform in any way, shape, or form. I, I'm kind of like. I could be on stage, I could be in movies, anything like that, that as long as I can put myself in somebody else's shoes and entertain an audience, that's what I love to do. All right, folks, well, that is the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, please do know that I will be wearing dresses intermittently on different shows that are for sale. This particular one is for sale. So be sure to follow on Facebook so that you know which dresses are for sale and how much and how to get it, all right? And, um, well, I guess if there's nothing else, that's the end of the show. So we'll see you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile, enjoy some Indian food. Mwah. Bye. I found a shock monkey. Would you like to know if I'm single? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I am. Oh, my lucky day. Oh, do you want some kisses? Perfect for you. <laughs> sure. I give really good little kisses and really good dirty kisses. I just want the little one, just right there. Okay. Mwah. And a mwah. Oh, yeah. oh, mwah. <laughs>